accident one. Got him. Oh, that feels a bit better. Probably two, two and a half. Got him. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. We are back at the pond. It's about 52-ish degrees out right now. So it's not too warm, but it's not too cold. We have just been absolutely slaying fish here every time we come. So let's go ahead and have another day. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. We're about to catch a ton of fish. All right, guys, we are on our first fish of the day. Oh, he was barely hooked. Here we go. See you, dude. It's another one. Got him. Oh, that feels a bit better. Yeah, that feels like my top right here. Slipping into the water. That feels like a really good fish, to be honest. Is that a, dude, is that a big one? What is this? What the heck? Hold up, am I recording? Maybe I'm just, what the, dude, no way. How big is this? I'm like not even, I'm not moving this fish at all. I cannot move him. Dude, what is this? Oh, it's a nice bass. Oh, is why is it foul hooked? Oh no, that is a really good fish. No way. Let's go. Come on, stay down. Come on. Oh my God, guys. That is, that is the fish we're looking for. Oh, I just broke my line as I landed that fish. No way. Guys, that is a stud. That is a slab. Oh my God. That is a two and a half pounder all day. Yo, no way. All right, guys, I'm trying to get you guys a better angle on this. Probably two, two and a half pound fish. Super chunky, up shallow. These bass are definitely in that pre-spawn stage. But that is definitely my biggest one of the year here at this pond. Let's go ahead and get a release on them. Beautiful bass. See you, dude. That is a great way to start off today's video. I was just casting up shallow. There's a bunch of like weeds. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see that on the water right there. But this whole bank right here is rocks, weeds. So that fish was just sitting up in that, probably eating some bait fish. But we're going to go ahead and keep fishing here. There's another one right by the fountain too. Oh, we came off. That felt like a decent fish. Got another one running out with it. A bunch of small ones sit over here, so I wouldn't be surprised. This is small, dude. Yeah. Here we go, nice little bass. See you, dude. How is that fish coming off, dude? I don't understand. Here we go, that one stayed on. There's just a bunch of small fish up shallow right now. There we go, another little bass. See you, dude. It's another bite, guys. Has he got me? I think he does. Got him. Not as big as the last one. We will take it. Another fish on the Senko. Was hoping we would get bigger, but still take it. Beautiful little bass. See you, dude. We are on again. Oh, he came off. All right, guys, so we're gonna make a quick lap around the pond with the frog, but I am feeling a moving bait right now. I just really wanna catch one on a frog. Just, I really wanna get a blow up. So we're gonna try this for a little bit. We still have like an hour or so left to fish. So I'm gonna like walk and fish, make a lap with the frog right here. This is the Guyam Pad, mini pad crasher. I don't know if it says mini in the what it's called, but I've always loved this frog It's a perfect size for New Jersey. These fish just destroy it and the hooks are super good on it but Yeah, we're gonna see if we can get one to blow up on the frog And then we might switch up to like a lipless or a chatterbait or something like that Because that's what I'm thinking is gonna work right now And if we do that, there's the chance we can always hook into another striper here Wouldn't that be sick? 
But yeah, I'm gonna get to fishing. We're probably gonna do this kind of fast, as I said. So I don't know, like the conditions are not prime right now. It's like 52 degrees, kind of windy for a frog. But last night it was even colder in another pond I was fishing and I got blown up like four times. So the fish are just pretty aggressive right now. So let's see if we can get one. All right, guys, so we just made a loop around the pond with the frog. We didn't get any blow ups. And I'm honestly not even gonna use a moving bait. The Sanko has been working, so we're gonna keep it on here. I'm not sure what time my brother's game is gonna get over, but we're just gonna keep fishing and see if we can catch another good one. It's another bite, I think. Yeah, one stopped me. Oh my God, he came off. I wasn't even paying attention. He just smoked it and started running with it. I watched my line just dart off. There he is. Another little dink. Oh, chill out. There you go. See you, dude. I think that's a bite. Am I on? Oh, I got one, yeah. A little bit bigger. We will take it. There you go. These fish just love the Sanko. Caught so many. There you go. See, dude. We got another bite. This bite feels so tiny. Like, this fish just feels so small. I don't know why I came off. That was definitely a dink. Oh my god. There's one. That one stayed on. There you go. It did start to like drizzle a little bit, but then it went away, so I'm not sure. What is that? Hold up. Let me know. You guys know what this is. It might just be because this fish is feeding. But that like doesn't look like a regular red mouth. That's like it looks kind of like infected. I don't know. That's weird. Another little pretty bass. See you, dude. That's another bite. Stay on there. There we go. All right, got the hook out. See, you, dude. It's another one. Ate it right in front of me, came off. He took my Sanko. Oh, dude, that was sick. I like watched that fish come up and eat it right here. It's like two inches of water. All right, guys, we came over to this pond over here. I didn't get any bites, so that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I have a bunch of cool content coming out, so make sure you guys all stay tuned for all the stuff coming out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Peace.